Hi hey, folks, Happy New Year. Uh, there's just a few clips here of some bits and pieces that are going on today. Uh, I'm supposed to be plastering and tiling our downstairs BC, but unfortunately I've got to, well, unfortunately, my wife had to go to work and uh, my plaster is duff. I had some plaster in um, garage, which is uh, no more, it's no good anymore. So I've got to go and buy some plaster tiles and adhesive. So, but I thought I'd give you a look at how that router lift's going on. Now, if anybody wants more details how I've done that, I'd probably just ramble, you know what I mean? I know I do. Um, I was trying to explain how I did slot. Uh, it's a mitre slot. And um, what I've done is I cut a 30 degree angle on one side at board and took that piece of board off because it's got the matching angle and flipped it like that. So that then just, I just cut a piece to slot into it, same angle and back right in and out. Although I will be out today getting materials because I need some materials and I'm going to have to see if I can find some track and I might do some different ver a different version. Um, I'm doing some casting. Um, I'm doing some plaques which I've got out. Uh, this is for Jade's so who won the competition. So I'm going to put a competition in this one for any guys from this channel who wants to win one of these. I've done a couple more. I'll show them at the end. They're, they're for uh, presents for guys. They're not for Christmas. They're a bit late. Christmas 2018 maybe <laughs> early birthday whatever but anyway that it's just practice for me now the point about me with workshop as well I'm making this um, this router table so I can make things now I see a lot of videos on on making jigs don't get me wrong they're fantastic because there's some you know I might need a jig to do a job now for me there's lots of videos on jigs but not on jobs if you know what I mean so I'll be doing making stuff if uh, that's one of the plans this year is to make some stuff, generally stuff for, for myself, guitars, main main thing, which that's why I want my workshop. Um, and same as the, the casting, uh, it's great being able to melt aluminium, but what, what are you going to do with a little hockey puck of aluminium? I want to make stuff out of it, so uh, I'll be trying to cast some stuff which will include that, uh, the actual lift part of that router lift and see how that works out. But anyway, oh, there's some sheep in this and snow as well. It's nice to be nice. Happy New Year. Oh, we got a bit of snow last night. It is only a bit though. Probably not two inches. So it's first snow of this year. Although we did get about three inches in November, which turned to slush rather fast. But it's minus five now, so this might, uh, it, although it's melting off the trees up there. Looks nice. This is how I'm doing with router. I've uh, I've dropped it into this tabletop. That's flush. That's flush. Um, this is all scraps. Scraps. Um, I'm going to make a fence on it. I made some sliders so I can move the fence backwards and forwards, and maybe so I can cut some finger joints can't cut finger joints on this unless I've obviously took safety guard off on this um, probably an EU directive you know so you can't flip it up just to measure your blade from here to here this is pretty good but it's not spot on so if I want to set the fence I want to be able to measure front and back at blade or at least have a reference point to measure from the blade even if it's like from this slot which I have done but that's uh, this is designed so that it'll only lift it's, on a, it's like on a double pivot it's on a double pivot so it'll only lift so I uh, you can't flip it up so I've got two thoughts about this if I just take that little them two little bits off then that will flip all the way up and I can measure but I still can't really cut any dados or put a sledge on this or I could probably get away with a sledge but obviously I'll have to take that into account if I put a cross, a cross cut on it a cross cut sledge so I'm in two minds whether to nick that completely off and leave that off altogether but safety in mind and all that Oh look, I don't have kids in here while I'm running it and when I finish running it I put blood down because it's it's workspace. 
but I like how this fits in. What I did on it is I've doubled it up and put the strength. Well, I doubled it up here, obviously, to put me um, my slides in because as yet I haven't found any T bar. I know I can buy some off the internet though, so thanks, Brendan, for your very kind offer. Um, and I've just put a piece across, two pieces across here to brace it because when router's in it it was sagging there but now it's now it's it done um i still haven't put a i ain't got a plug on that at a minute but that's that dropped in and as i said i'll store it underneath there probably um I've got to build that up. How I'm going to do this is I'll get it nice and square, set the fence up when that's put together nice and square, and probably put a bit of double sided tape on it or a bit of hot glue and then drop it down, slide it out, and screw it. Uh, I've got to pick some smaller screws up because the screws I've got are quite. Uh, they might do for that. Yeah, they will do for that. I don't need new screws. I was think I'm thinking over, over the top. Uh, I was thinking of building like a higher um, fence. I might again do the same sort of things I've done here. Cut that on a 30 degree because that's what that is. All it is is one piece. I cut it out 30 degree off that end, then flip that and turn it round so that I got my size. And I just cut a piece, a strip, 30 degrees each side put it in with a piece of paper between it so that it gives me a bit of a gap so I can slide it and uh, that should do it there probably will be another version of this the the, the router lift underneath I will we'll probably uh, cast I'm going to do some more casting I've got some stuff to cast I'll show you that but um, I've got a few things to cast and I'll, that's one of the things I want to do is try and cast that router lift It'll be uh, be a fun project and it'll be very very strong and as I was talking about casting I've got these to do I'm gonna get try and get these done at weekend and I'll put a video up for that now I did a competition on my on my gold channel and Jade's won so hopefully I'll get them all first cast cast these are a couple for some mates you know life in Thailand and that one's for Mr Calder in uh, in Canada so I'm going to try and cast these, I'm going to be doing more of this stuff, well not more of this stuff in particular but more casting and um, now if anybody would like one of these with their YouTube channel or something on it as a plaque then now's your chance um, if you leave a comment and say a comment in this video in what I'm saying you'd like one then you'll be entered so then I'll do a random draw again now there's only and probably get about 40 or 50 views per video so <laughs> anybody who enters has got a good chance this was for my 500th subscriber but I'm, I've gone over 500 now but I meant to do it but I've got to get these uh, I've got to get this technique right as well so I've got a few chances here so there's another chance I think anybody noticed if one of them ended up in freezer. Not the donkeys. <laughs> oh, you sure flee? That one's a bit lame. <laughs> 